the National Democratic Congress, NDC General Secretary John Singh Isiedunkitia has condemned the opposition New Patriotic Party, MPP, for its sudden opposition to a decision to electronically transmit election results as agreed among parties. At a press conference Wednesday, Isiedunkitia said the communique was signed by everybody after the MPP rejected the proposals, claiming electronic transmission is not backed by law says its intention is to draw the attention of Ghanaians and the international community the posturing of the NPP which could subvert the country's peaceful march towards a free fair and transparent elections we wish to tell the NPP in plain language that they should let their yes be yes and no be no and if they do not mend their ways the nation will move on with or without them Mr. Asiedun Ketia also stated the MPP's U10 on the proposed November 7 election date to December re-emphasizes the party's double standards. Page 10, paragraph 8, bullet 2, bullet 0 of the report by the Electoral Reforms Committee established by IPAC following the Supreme Court case, which report was also signed by the General Secretary of MPP states. And I beg to quote, the date for presidential and parliamentary elections should be changed to 7th November in an election year from 7th December. A request should be made to Parliament to amend Article 112, Sub 4. A company to undertake electronic transmission of results with infrastructure, know-how, and piloting from all the 29,000 mm. polling so, stations. So, Mr. McMenor, I, I beg your pardon. Sorry to cut you in. So, your suggestion is that the initial plan, initial proposal for which you you uh, agreed to is not what finally went on into the public by the Electoral Commission, if I understand it? Exactly, because the Electoral Commission is looking for a company to undertake transmission of election results. Handheld scanners, which according to Asi Ketia, they have already budgeted in their statement. It's not a company. So if they have budgeted in their, in their, in their statement to buy handheld scanners, why are they asking in the advert for a company to undertake electronic transmission of results? Mm -hmm. There are two different things, two different issues. And mind you, when the advert appeared in the daily graphic, Subsequent IPAC, at subsequent IPAC meeting, I inquired about the details. I inquired for better and further particulars of what the advert entails. And what were and you I told? Was, I was told that they are going to write to us, all members of IPAC. To date, the letter has not come. Secondly, only two days ago when I raised this issue, Progressive People Party sent me a letter they had also written to the Electoral Commission on the same issue, and they have also not received any response. So if I say Dunketia knows about it, what, is, what the details of the advert is, then it is the NDC alone who perhaps know about it. Mm. So but I, as, 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 as a better way of dealing in electoral matters, one critical value that everybody expects is openness, transparency, and inclusiveness. And so you think in all of these, the Electoral Commission has not been transparent enough. I, I want to understand what you think is the difference between uh, what was advertised and what was proposed. Uh, the difference well, between was the handheld Let devices you, and a company as which would do the transmission. was under the banner, National Coalition Center. We were proposing that we, 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 we do away with the strong room concept and move into a national coalition center that can accommodate a lot of people mm. so that the election will become more transparent and open. And that they should buy, under that national coalition center, they should buy handheld scanners for the EC temporary staff to scan, like they scan during the voter registration, and then export to the national coalition center. That is different from the advert that appeared in the daily graphic. I see. And so, have you made uh, these concerns known? Today there was an IPAC meeting, emergency meeting. Is this something you tabled oh, 
Oh, emergency meeting contained only two items. Uh, um, um, mop up of the NHI, uh, NHI registrants mm. and then continuous registration. But I told you earlier that I had raised the issue at an IPAC and the answer the commission gave me was that they were going to write to all of us, which to date have not been done. Has not been done, right. Uh, Mr. Bakman, well, I'm happy mm. that I have been able to raise this matter to generate public interest. The beauty of constitutional democracy. Now the media, the public know about it, and each one of us is making his contribution to the debate. Right, uh, Mr. Bachman, we'll leave it here, but uh, let's put it on record. You, you, you still insist that uh, uh, Johnson and Sidney Kitia got it wrong, and that his assertion that the MPP oh, is exhibiting double it wrong. standards. Absolutely wrong. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mark Menos, chairman of the MPP's uh, campaign team. 